Okay guys, we have a fun video for you today. We are in our backyard in Central Florida here at the Kennedy Space Center. This is home of NASA, SpaceX, and Blue Origin. So we're gonna be taking a look at some rockets. Also, we may get to meet a real life astronaut and who knows, maybe we'll get to try some space food. All right, let's go have some fun. These are the admission and pass prices, but currently here in October, they're holding a Florida special. We need to go pick up our tickets. I like your shirt. So we are local Brevard County residents. So we have a special price here for us today that we are taking advantage of. That's why we're here. So 19 for adults, 14 for children. Good job. Let's look at the screen. That's all right, we just need in mind. Yeah. All right, there's our total, 55.64. Our tickets have printed. And we are ready to go. They were also accepting donations for uh, like canned food, hygiene products, so we dropped them off. Alright, we're going to go into the information and see what they have, see if they have any brochures. Lucas wants to check out the toys already and the merchandise. Got some t-shirts. Got some space shuttle keychains that are personalized. Well, you may have found something already. Just found the space shuttle. That. When I was little, I had a miniature one. They've come a long way since then. That's pretty cool. Look at that ice cream space sandwich. What do you think? Is that gonna taste any good? Astronauts when I was your age, I had something from NASA that was similar to this. Mine. So it's freeze dried. It's freeze Let's see, what do we have here? What do you want? Two chocolate wafers. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Is that what it's supposed to end up like? That's so cool. Real space food. Got a cute pair. They have some really nice hats here. Under Armour even. Got $34.99. Got a black Under Armour hat. Nice fitted one. <laughs> I like this one. Evelyn would love this cup. I need my space. Very heavy what do you got there? An astronaut? It's a magnet, it's not a toy. Oh, cool. So they do have visitor guides in here, and they have them in multiple different languages. Here's a look at the map for today. So we're gonna try and get through the gate and go all the way around for the encounter, for the astronaut encounter. I would like to tell you, uh, and yes, I miss me. Sometimes I feel like we have faults in retirement. But anyway, I'll get started. This is, I, you know, I put the screen because the uh, crew back for my last mission, my fourth mission. Mars? Mom, look. Is that Mars? Mars. 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 Mars.
All right, we're gonna go catch a bus. We're gonna go see the Apollo That's Center. Let me go back to home. Where they keep the rockets. Let's go, buddy. All right, so straight ahead for the bus tours. So we just got to listen to a real astronaut. It was pretty cool listening to his experience going up in the space shuttle. Look at the floor. All right, where are we, Lucas? On the on the map that you're walking on, where are we? Okay, find where we are. Where's Florida? Let's see if you can find Florida. Do you see Florida? There you are. And where are we? I see you. I see you. We are right there. Puerto Rico? Right here. There's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. <laughs> Bring me away. That was nice listening to the astronaut. go without her leg today and to use the wheelchair instead so we are waiting for the lift okay. and we'll be going in here today all right we're going up okay i know you want to go in too okay. Okay. Sit on my lap. we're going up the elevator Wait, is there any like we're in space yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Just for you. Okay? Yeah. Okay, going up. We're going up, Lucas. We're ready. Right. That's it. You did it. There we go. We're going up, puppy. Okay. Bye. Michael. Whoa. All right. We in. Bye. Perfect. We made it in. All right, have a seat, Lucas. You need me to sit on the chairs? I can climb if you need more space for somebody else. I can put my back in. You can do that? Yeah. Okay, now. I know. Or somebody can. Somebody mission also assembled within these same walls we made it to the apollo center the gates are open we're going in he's excited So the Apollo Center here that we're located in is going to be all about the moon landing. So we're going to learn a lot more about what it took to get to the moon. Are we going to learn about the moon? When I was a kid, I used to dream about flying through space. 
Every week on TV, I'd watch my heroes as they jumped into their rocket ships and took to the stars. And I wanted to be like them. They had courage, imagination, and no problem ever stood in their way for long. But in the end, when we actually did send men into space, it turned out that those were exactly the qualities it took. I'm John Hudson. This is Pad 39 of the Kennedy Space Center. I was a launch controller here when from this very spot, man took off to fly to the moon. Mankind is about to leave his planet behind and journey to another. It is one of those rare moments when history is not being made, destiny is being embraced. camera here and we'll see what they uh what this machine does i use right behind you he's playing with another interactive device are you launching oh no a launch failure the middle one. There you go. 
That's pretty cool. And here's a smaller model of it. Shows how it detaches. Three different stages. Here he comes, watch out. What did you find? All right, let's go. Let's go take a look. I think they also have a place that has more food. So we're gonna have to look around. <laughs> but we can get some chips, beer, soda, space dots. astronaut Snoopy here at this gift shop they actually have this strawberry flavored dried strawberries and they still have the sandwiches oh look at that rocket the Saturn V right, what did you find ornaments <laughs> that's a neat one This is cute too. Alright, let's see what do we have. This is a cute one. Alright, you done looking? But then there's this one that says this. Oh big good. Well, pocket place set. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. And how much? $4.99. Christmas ornaments. Yeah. 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 Corksicles. You see that? You got the corksicle? Yep. Aren't they? I like this one. Oh, you can see, I saw that too. Look at the back. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, look, it lights up. Lights up, yeah. This one lights up too, Lucas. Yeah, let's get the rocket. I like the rocket. Let's get the rocket. Got a space helmet. Look at those moon boots. All right, we're going to the NASA vault. Let's see what they have in here, buddy. The treasure gallery. Take a look at this. What do we have? Yes, it is a moon rock. That's a moon rock right there. Look at the capsule, Lucas. That's where they were. Lucas, this is one of the more modern ones here. Wow. Alan Shepard's suit. Look at that. So let's go to the Moon Rock Cafe. Okay, I'm hungry. Let's see what they have. Okay, we're here at Moon Rock Cafe. We're gonna see what they have to eat. It looks like they have some chicken salad wraps, turkey sandwiches, egg salad sandwiches, a veggie sub, turkey brie wrap. What looks good, hon? I don't see anything for Lucas. 
So we have some sandwiches. We have a chicken salad wrap. Lucas has his Cheetos and Gatorade. And you get to eat right here under the rocket. What do you think of this building, Lucas? Good. Good. Do you think you could ever go up into a rocket like that? I wish. You wish? <laughs> I wish oh my I goodness. I wish I wasn't growing up right now. I think you need to start with maybe doing some roller coasters at Disney World. Yeah, you won't even do Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> oh, stinker. You have to start somewhere, right? How's your wrap? I wish they had hot food, not like astronaut food. <laughs> I don't like cold food. <laughs> Looks like they're going to be opening up their restaurant coming spring of 2024. So maybe they'll have a bigger selection of hot food, but as of now, they just have this little corner of sandwiches, Caesar wraps. So it'll get better. I have a feeling. All right, you guys, here we have Lucas. What did you find? What is this? A moon. So this is a lunar sample. All right, go ahead and touch it. Wow. Pretty cool. What does it feel like? It feels kind of like... Um, like a regular rock? No, not regular. All right, let's see. There it is. Pretty cool. So this is a reenactment of the moon landing. Look at them. They're stepping on the moon. That's what, they're, that's what the moon prints look like. When they step, that's the bottom of their shoes. Here's something that I found pretty cool. This is the Astro Van. So this is how they would take the astronauts when they were ready for their launch. They would take them over to the rocket about nine miles away. And it's a modified Clark Cortez motorhome. So this is what it looked like. And they have the doors open so you can see what it looked like. So this is where they would sit as they'd be taken to the launch site. Pretty cool. That's the capsule up there. So now we're at the very far end. Okay. Hey, look, see that capsule right here? This huh? is where they would be inside Wait, when they landed. Take a look inside. I can't see. Oh, they're in there. I see them. I can't see. Wow, they fit three of them in there. I can't see. All right, I'll lift you up here, okay? All right, ready? Three, two, one, up. Ooh, I see faces. Yep, so they were laying down on their back almost. And guess what? You see this right here? Do you know where this was on the rocket ship? Where? Look up. Right up there at the nose. At the very end. That's the, that's it right there. Yep, it would detach and it would come down to Earth on its own. the bridge. And guys, you get to see the inside better. Yes, oh we do. Ready? That's so neat. That's what we were looking at through the little window. And then it spits you out over on this end, and we have four minutes until showtime. There you go. Yep, because there's no gravity. Bye -bye.
As soon as the eagle reappears, things begin to go wrong. Radio communications break down. Messages to Eagle must be relayed through Mike Collins aboard the command module Columbia. A short time later, history is made again. For one incredible moment, we are one people with one history, watching our destiny unfold. As one small step for man, one giant leap for man. It was a moment shared by an entire world. With these first steps, mankind stood on the highest ground. And we saw our planet as our home port in the endless ocean of space. There was something which was surprising. Here's the lunar rover. This is what they would use. Looks like they use this to practice. Let's take a look at this thing. There's the controls. Two people can sit in there? Yep. Okay, you guys. Let's head back. We gotta find our bus. Here, put your foot up. I'll help you. And away we go. Say cheese. All right. Good. All right, let's go outside. All right, let's go this way, babe. That what would about be. That other thing over there? Yep, there's more launch pads. Oh, so this would be an amazing place to be to see these rockets go. Right. And then they have the grandstands. Okay, we are going back to the bus. So we're gonna head back to the main area. We still have some things to do there. So let's go find our ride. Nice and sunny out. Alright. Let's go to the monument out there. Alright, so we're going to the moon tree garden. These trees each representing a crude Apollo mission. They're descendants of the original moon trees grown with seeds astronaut Stuart Rosa carried to the moon on Apollo 14. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at these trees, Lucas. So these seeds to plant these trees were on the moon. This one, Dad. They brought them with. Dad, this one. Here, it looks like it's actually in space when you put it above it. I know, that's Mama, so cool. Put this on. Yeah, put your sunglasses. It's pretty hot out of here. All right, let's look at the monument. So how was the Apollo Center? Good. Very good. But it's you enjoyed it? It's sadder going home. 
Well, we're not going home. We're going to go back to the main part at the front entrance. Remember, we have a lot to do there still. Yeah. There's still a lot more to see. We're not done yet. We're going to see everything here. There's more to see. We have the IMAX theater shows, a lot of different uh, spots to go visit. We'll take a look at the map and we'll see where we're going to go next, okay? And we'll check the show times. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we know you're hungry. We yeah. Get you yeah, we need to get some hot food. All right, so this is their main cafeteria. So they're going to have some hot food over here. They have hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chicken strips, pulled pork sandwiches. We are on our way to see the Atlanta Space Shuttle. Right this way. Wow, so cool. The movie screen goes up and reveals the Atlantis. So you can see it partially through the screen. Video was not allowed during the recording, but now we can. Look at that, there she is. Wow. And they, ha and they brought in what they built. So this was the original model. This idea turned into the Atlantis. Pretty big cargo area. Like, is that real? How did they that, make, I wonder how they brought that in. They flew it back. Here's the underside. Man, so massive. It's amazing how they got this connected to here. Look at that. So here we have the replica where you can actually go in and see what the control panels are like. And I think Lucas already found his way into the captain's chair. Hey Lucas, let me take a picture of you. Are we ready to take off? All right, do you know how to take us home? No! Oh no, I'm scared. How are we going to land? Is this the how to get home? We got to get back to Earth. Yes, press the get back to Earth button. No. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, where did he go? Hopefully he'll come out. <laughs> Wow. Welcome back. Wow. You were all the way over the top of that. That's so cool. Catch me again. I'm going to leave that here so fast. All right, go ahead. There you go. Pretty cool. So we bought that freeze dried ice cream sandwich, so we're gonna give it a try and see how awesome. it tastes. Awesome, like. I'm excited. Who's Lu going first? Lucas said he's going first. And guess what? At the school we bought this at the ship and dad used to have this but littler. And oh my gosh. Inside. Let's see the inside. That's pretty cool. Lucas, mama. Just like the real Atlantis. Look at that ice cream. No Lucas. way. That's the actual ice cream sandwich, the but they just freeze dried it. Try it. Try there it. Go. 
It melts in your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a little cool. All right, give it a shot. Not bad, yeah. Okay, I gotta try this. Your turn. Let's take a bite. Have you had this before? I've never had this before. The only thing freeze dried is probably bananas and uh, strawberries. <laughs> wow. This is different. It's good though. But it is good. It's not too bad. It's better than I thought. It has a lot more flavor than I thought it would have. Mm. I mean, our picky eater likes it, so. I wish I could buy 10 hundred of these. <laughs> And as we're leaving the park, we're gonna stop at the rocket garden where they have all of the rockets up for display. Okay, this is my favorite one. You got the shark teeth up on top. All right, you're going up. Awesome! Let's get a closer look. I think that's the tallest one of all of these. Now let's take a look and see what this actually is. So we have a Delta II, yep. Yeah? Here we go. Look at that. 52 missions, 57 security missions, 46 commercial. That's a pretty neat rocket. That looks like part of the moon too. Yeah, that looks like an old one, doesn't it? And I, I like that one more, the biggest one. Okay, let's go look at this. Yeah, that's a much smaller pod, isn't it? All right, thank you for joining us at the Kennedy Space Center. We had an amazing time. Did we have a lot of fun, you guys? Yes. All right. sad we're leaving. Yeah, sad we're leaving. But until our next adventure, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. We'll be coming with more videos shortly. Until then, we'll see you from Kennedy Space Center. Adios. And hit the like button.